Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video and in today's video we're going to be doing something very similar to yesterday's video when we did the ACR build of the Kilo. What we're going to do today is build the G36C out of the Holger 26. Now this is nothing new, there was actually already G36C videos made when this gun first came out, but I'm just going to build my own class and have fun with it. I have not watched any of those videos we're going to build our own class here today and we are going to try it out for ourselves now guys i do want to say the acr video did do pretty darn good so if you do me a huge favor leave a like on this video helps out the channel a lot more than you might know let's build ourselves a good class so we have the holger 26 here now me personally in modern warfare 3 when using the g36c always ran a red dot the red dot just felt so so good on the g36 so that is what we're going to put on this holder here we're going to do one of those shorter barrels we'll probably just stick with the ultralight i really don't think we're going to need the spitfire we're not going for like an smg running gun it's still an ar where we have to play slow at the end of the day it's still actually an lmg so you definitely have to play a bit slower with this roll so we're going to stick that ultralight barrel on there and probably just a commando foregrip for some recoil control maybe some stippo grip tape for some ads and then obviously top it off with the 30 round magazine so obviously guys just like the last video with the acr make sure you're saving your custom mod and just typing in g36c throw on whatever camo you want before you save it and um yeah then you'll end up with this guy the G36C says it up in the top left, looks super cool, and we have Damascus on it as well. So we're going to be trying this class out here today, guys. Hopefully it does do okay. I kind of have my doubts. Uh, the Holger is kind of an iffy weapon already. It just doesn't have a good recoil control. The recoil pattern is very, very odd for it. So I'm kind of, you know, hesitant on saying this is going to be an insane class like that ACR variant we had yesterday. But I'm definitely optimistic. So let's hop in the game and try it out. All right, guys, looks like we're playing Grind. Not a big fan of that game mode, honestly, but um, let's just try to focus on kills for the team and uh, see what happens. But first time using the, the quote-unquote G36C. Kind of excited, honestly. I don't think it's going to do nearly as good as the Modern Warfare 1, or Modern Warfare 3, I should say, because we are playing Modern Warfare. Definitely a bit of recoil, for sure. Um, which I said was, you know, my main concern for it. And definitely not a lot of reserve ammo. Obviously, uh, playing with the 100 round magazine, you're starting off with, you know, at least an extra magazine in reserve. So 200 bullets. This one, only starting with 90 bullets total. So definitely a downgrade. Only got 19 left in the magazine. We're definitely playing really slow. Kind of campy. But, um, we definitely got to push up here. I don't know where that guy went. He kind of juked me. Alright. Got some ammo back. Got him. Not sure where they're spawning. Got him. Pretty quickly. He must have been weak not doing terrible that's for sure that guy was weak as well we haven't really gotten in like a full-on gunfight like that right there that's what we need more of to really test on how the weapon's gonna do obviously anybody can shoot anyone in the back and you know get a bunch of kills doing that but if we're not winning our you know one-on-one -on -one gunfights then it's really not gonna pass the test so far we've we haven't really tested the true the true firepower behind the weapon i'm trying to keep it as real as i can with you guys too so right there we got shot by two people so not a good example as well i don't think we've had a solid gunfight yet which isn't necessarily a bad thing that guy got melted i don't know if i just got some good shots or if he was weak but homie got melted i think there's a guy camping up there guy might push us. We got that guy up top though, which is cool. A grenade action going on. I think we're gonna head up there. Try and pick some people off. See what we can do. Do some damage. Not much damage to be done.
We got beam by an MP5. We got laser. Still haven't really had a good gunfight yet. That guy kind of got work. Hit him with the headshots. Oh, we almost died. That guy was weak too. Probably would have lost that. Ooh, shaky shots. See, I, I don't know yet. I still don't know. I mean, we were doing okay. I just don't know if this is what I would call a stellar weapon. Like that kilo that we made yesterday, the ACR, absolutely shreds. It's a laser beam. This thing, eh, I don't know. I'm still on the fence about it. I like it. It's, it's so fun. I gotta say, it, it's definitely fun to use. It gives back the nostalgia from the G36. It's fun. But, um, I don't know. See, we just lost that gunfight. Perfect example. There's a lot of recoil on that. I had first shot as well. Just beam that guy. Sounds like a Renetti or something over here. That guy who needed me. Is he behind there or am I tripping? Hey, no. I don't know where you're at up there. You need to stop that. Oh, man. We're not playing well. We're just not playing well. Outgunned. I don't know, boys. This might not be it. Let's get a reload here. Try and pick this guy off. I stopped shooting because I thought I melted him. Looking good. Almost lost that one too. Definitely not M4 caliber whatsoever. Almost at the bottom of the leaderboard. It's somehow. Okay, we got killed by third party. I was about to say. I thought I got one burst to just rate all three headshots with that Renetti. You know, it felt really, really solid at the beginning of the game, and as the game has progressed, I just feel like it's gotten worse. You know, I'm not surprised. If you watch any of my gameplays, or you're a long-time fan of the channel, like long-time fan, I've always said, cruise missiles only kill me. And there's like nobody running around either. Everybody's camping. Poor gameplay. Look at that guy. He's just creep walking back there. Like he's playing car call. Wanna reload and try and get in a gunfight with this guy? Alright, we lasered him. So much recoil, man. That's like my main complaint for sure. Is that recoil? A lot of horizontal and vertical recoil. You know, some weapons will have one or the other. This one has both. It's just all over the place. Close range, though. Absolutely nuts. It's nuts close range. But anything even medium range, really, really testing it. Alright, that's the game. We'll see where we went. We have 26 kills. I would say we definitely didn't go double pause. We probably, you know, probably like 26 and 18 maybe. We'll see what happens. We'll see. Twenty-six and fourteen, I'm actually kinda surprised. We almost went double positive, just missed it by one death. But um it's not terrible. It's definitely not great. But um, let's break it down. So after that game, definitely recoil is an issue. So if we had to make maybe some adjustments, we could take off the sight, which kind of hurts me to say. I don't really like the iron sights for the holder personally, but you could do that. We could put maybe an ADS speed stock. You know, maybe that would help. But then we could take off stippled, put on rubberized, and therefore we would get some extra recoil control. And, um, you know, maybe the iron sights might kind of 
counteract that a little bit because I always thought the iron sights on weapons do kind of affect the recoil only negatively because I feel like there's more precision sight picture with a red dot so it's easier to control if that makes any sense. You can see where you're aiming a lot better with a red dot sight than with an iron sight in most cases. Some iron sights are pretty decent. Um, there's a couple M4 iron sights that are very nice. But um, I think you guys would understand what I'm saying. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to control recoil with an iron sight. So maybe that would influence some things here. The only other thing I could think of is, you know, maybe taking the barrel completely off. It's going to add a little weight. But you could put like a tack laser on here. Having that heavier barrel will help your recoil. And then having a tack laser will help that ADS since you do have a heavier barrel. But if you go with this build, then you're leaning more towards the LMG side of things. And it's going to be a lot heavier of a weapon. And then, you know, you're kind of questioning, do I even want the 30 round magazine? So definitely, definitely an interesting one here. I don't know if I would give it the trash or pass. It's kind of in between there. It's definitely situational. So let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think about this weapon? Definitely nowhere close to that kilo we did yesterday, but definitely fun to use. Let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Check the sponsors and equipment in the description below. That's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm out.